People generally become more giving around the holidays and want to spread some holiday cheer. A Jackson organization has been doing just that by donating socks to those in need. But they ran into an unexpected problem, an apartment complex. Fox 47's Megan Heiler explains. It's wintertime in Jackson, which means the weather is bitterly cold. Today was no different. It's Christmas time. Yes. It is cold out here. As you can see, I don't even want to take my scarf off for the interview. It's cold. Yes. We want to give the children some socks. The group, Partial to Girls, is in the process of becoming a 501c3 and has held a sock drive for the past three years. They go around to apartment complexes and hand them out to those who need them. They have been doing this for years, and they say everyone has welcomed her, except for one, the Southridge Park townhomes. And she said, no. I said, no. I said, I want to help the children in this community on your property. She says, no. We do not allow that. And this isn't the first time they've been told they weren't welcome there. Back in October, they tried to hand out cider and donuts and were kicked off the property. The regional manager for the complex told me she can't allow them on the property for liability reasons and says if they are allowed, it opens up the door for all solicitors. The group says that they were hoping for an exception because they aren't selling anything and they just want to help the community. It's not a happy feeling. We don't want children to be without socks in the cold, in the winter. We do not want them to have to come out in the cold. Management suggested to the group that they can set up shop outside the entrance, but for Quinn and Taylor, it's disappointing. I grew up low income. I grew up poor. I remember standing at the bus stop, not having any socks, not having good enough, warm enough socks, and it meant something to me, and I started a sock drive for the Jackson children three years ago. I don't want them affecting that because we're growing in this every year. I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. The group is still collecting socks and gently used shoes and boots. You can get involved by clicking on this story on our website, fox47news.com.